Okay, there we are. I'm back. If all of you didn't know, Chase Gosling had an injury. Chase Gosling dislocated his shoulder. Chase Gosling, even after opening up the other 90% of his brain, realizes that he's only a human and that recovery is needed. But instead of having three to six months off, one week is all it took. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret on how it happened. You see, I was hanging out with the Chupacabra. I was hanging out with Bigfoot. I was hanging out with the Abominable Snowman. They are different, they are very different. Do not confuse them, they hate that. And the Loch Ness Monster. And I was in a sling and the Loch Ness Monster looked at me and he said, Chase, I can get you fixed up. And I said, well, how? And he said, first, I'm gonna need about 350. So, I gave him 350. And he said, Chase, you gotta climb to the top of the Himalayas. Reach out and connect with a celestial. Now, for those of you who don't know what a celestial is, that is a god. And that god gave me the remedy. That god gave me the remedy. But he also came to me and he said, Chase, I need you. I need you to go to Woodstock, Illinois. And I need you to bitch slap Ronnie Metro in the face for thinking he's a god. Because he's just a scared little boy that does not know anything since he's lost his championship. So, Saturday night, Ronnie Metro, I don't care what you call yourself. I don't care if you think that you can out crazy me because guess what? It's not possible. I am going to expand my mind. I'm going to use the wisdom of the Loch Ness and the Celestial. And together, we are going to take you and turn you into 